Hi, my name's Theo. I studied biomedical science at USC. Um, these days I'm living in Sydney and I'm studying doctor of medicine. I know a lot of you want to become uh, doctors as well. Um, so hopefully my story um, can give you a couple of inspirations and future ideas on uh, the different pathways to get there. So undergrad med is where a graduate of school uses their ATAR plus UCAT and uses a combination of those two results and they can enter um, medicine directly. And the second way is through postgrad med. So basically this way is through um, using a undergrad undergraduate degree. Um, this can be anything. So you use a combination of the uh, your GPA that you got from, from your uni, um, your GAMSAT and you apply through GEMSAS and once you apply with those two, the unis come back to you and you can possibly get an interview somewhere. So what was it like sitting the GAMSAT? All right, so that that's probably the biggest exam. It is, but hands down, the biggest exam I've ever done in my life. There's basically three sections for the GAMSAT. You have section one, um, which is basically literacy. The second one is uh, you write two essays in uh, 60 minutes, um, unseen. And then the third one is a major science section. So this includes chemistry, biology, physics. So those are the three big ones that includes. But yeah, so how did I prepare for GAMSAT? There's a bunch of different online modules that you, you, that you can attend um, and different uh, preparation modules as well that you can use um, to help you with GAMSAT. I think my number one piece of advice is to just keep trying no matter what. Even I started to have doubts going through. I've, uh, I sat multiple GAMSAT, didn't do great in the first uh, couple and by the end of it, you just keep doing it and you keep doing it and you keep pursuing and eventually you do get the, the GAMSAT you want or, or especially with uni, you do get the GPA grades you want. There is not um, many people that get into medicine straight away. Um, the average age at Notre Dame, I think, is around 27 or 28 um, for first year med students. And I know a lot of people that, that can be disheartened because they feel they're too old, but you, you're really not. And I think if, if I could talk to myself again, I'd just say, just keep going and don't follow to the advice um, of please get degrees. You have to work hard, um, not just because that's a good motto, but because it really helps you once you, you get into med as well. Um, and then you have a great foundation um, to use all that knowledge for. Um, I mean, you will be saving people's lives, so it's good to have knowledge. Um, so yeah, I think my number one piece of advice is just keep going, keep trying, um, keep persevering.